Putting accuracy first. This is News 3 Weather. A tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock for most of our region, all of southern Illinois, big part of southeast Missouri. No warnings currently in effect uh, for our home counties right now. There are several warnings in the metro east region. And we start with a look at what we feel is the real trigger to where we're going to see storms and the timing of those storms tonight. And some of this also speaks to the severity that we think is possible. Most of the activity right now showing up in the metro east area stretching back to south of St. Louis. And when we look in that region, we see one of those low level jet streams we talk about. And we can also see shear when moving in one direction and very close to it wind moving in another direction. That's for right now what the model projected and it's pretty darn good. So we have pretty high confidence in what it's projecting. So we move along until about 11 o'clock tonight and that is a key time in my book for when we need to be most concerned. I think it starts maybe around 9 o'clock, certainly runs through 11, and then we'll push off to the south through western Kentucky. But at 11 o'clock, a highlighted, even stronger low-level jet and shear stacked all along it. This may be a time when we see multiple individual little severe thunderstorms, each one of them capable of producing severe weather, including large hail damaging winds, and we can't rule out tornadoes. Our team feels pretty confident that there's a pretty good chance we see at least one tornado in southern Illinois tonight. The Storm Prediction Center, the National Weather Service, when we listen to their communications today, they also feel there's a pretty good chance that if there is a tornado, it's likely a strong tornado, maybe stronger than an EF2. We'll know that as we get through the night, but that's what we want you to be prepared for is this risk of severe weather. Another little low level jet shows up early tomorrow morning and then sweeps out. So now we go to radar. First red box showing up. Red box here referring to a tornado warning, not locally, but you can see a cell that our radar display is showing several shear markers on that and showing the rotating ones. So uh, we've been tracking that shear for some time. Now the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning. Continue the track on out on that one. It has a chance of moving into southern Illinois later on. Movement currently would still put it more than an hour away. So we're talking about after 7 o'clock tonight. Lots of warm air out there, lots of humidity. Local temperature still running around 70. In Harrisburg, 67 degrees over a muggy 62 and a windy day. South winds today uh, have been gusting up around 30 miles per hour wind gusts with thunderstorms, even if we don't see a tornado, likely could be damaging strength, uh, even if we don't see the rotation. Satellite imagery, clouds increasing across the region. We did see a couple of thin spots, but overall it's been a cloudy day. A little bit of light rain around early this morning. Skycast into motion, still showing now a little more of a broken line, but showing that timing around 9 or 10 o'clock, and then again along the front tomorrow morning. Probably 2 or 3 o'clock initiation on that one and done around here by 7 or 8 and then swept away and things start to calm down. Quick check on the tornado watch again. Zooming in here, you can see all of the counties shaded in yellow are in the tornado watch until 9. The red box of the tornado warning, several severe thunderstorm warnings, but that is all to our north and not moving south yet at this point. We'll be in here later this evening. Everyone needs to be prepared for that. Storms lingering into tomorrow morning. Very good chance we start the day around sunrise with storms. Could be severe storms. Doesn't mean just because they're in the morning they're going to be weaker. The rest of the week it's cooler and more quiet as far as the weather goes. We may see quite a bit of sunshine Thursday and Friday and a little bit of a warming trend for the weekend. I'll think about that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to get through tonight and yes. tomorrow morning. All right, thanks, Jim.